Welcome back to Excel Macro Automation for Professionals. Alex Louis here. Last video we were we went over if statements. This video I'm gonna go into if else if and then we can continue on writing a little bit of macros with loops. And then after the loops we'll get to some real real business. So let's take a look. So suppose we have this Excel sheet that has the following test scores has 60, 70, 20, 90 pretty decent grades not too good, not too bad. Suppose we want to do a comparison on them last video we talked about comparing and if you haven't already you can go back to my previous videos on what this actually means just on a high level those of you that do know what this means I'm basically taking whatever is in row one and column one and putting it, putting it, putting that value in cell value, which is a variable of integer type. I then compare using my if statement. And last time we were here, we said whenever this is true, then we hit the body. Otherwise, nothing happens. There is an additional concept that you need to learn regarding the if statement. You can also put additional conditions which are called multi multi way ifs where I can say that if this is greater than 70 then do the following else if some other condition then do something else. And the syntax for this works very very easy in terms of understanding but it's different than other languages you have to make sure that your else if words are close together other languages have you do it separately which is not correct in VBA so if I do else if cell value is less than 70 then I'm going to print test grade is not is less than 70 now let's see what happens in terms of tracing this program what you're doing really here is you are doing a multiple multi compare now with the if else if you have to remember that you're only going to hit one condition. Once it hits that condition, it's going to come out of this whole group of statements. So, for example, in this particular statement, the number 60 is less than 70, obviously. So, this is going to be false. And when this evaluates a false, it says, okay, there, is there an else if? Yes, there is. I'm going to jump to this line and see if this is true. If it's true, then I'm going to print the body. Otherwise, I'm going to jump to the next statement. And the, the next statement is an end if. In this particular case, this is true, so it will go into the body. So if we run this, it tried this. It said, nope, not true. Tried this, and it said, yes it is true so test late test grade is less than 70 now let me show you something else so that you don't get confused now suppose that I I say well I want to do this cell value is less than or equal to 70 then Okay, now this is an important concept that you must know because a lot of people get confused when they see things like this. You know that this is going to be false, but now we come up to here. This 
is true because if we go back to the Excel sheet, 60 is less than or equal to 70. You're fine until then. You print this out. Once we hit a condition where this is true, you will print the body and get out of the group of if else if statements, which means that we don't even look at this condition ever if this is true. Right. If this was false, then yes, it would go jump here and look at this condition and then see if that's true. But because this is true, it will never jump to this else if statement. Which means that this looks for the first statement that is true to print to try and print the body. If it doesn't see anything, then it may not print anything at all. So if I did something like 30 here, right? And I try to run this, guess what? Nothing's going to print out because all of these, well, this is greater than 30. Let's see. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do greater than 80. So let's take a look at this example. We take the value at cell 1, row 1, and we compare. Is 60 greater than 80? No, it's not. So next. Is 60 less than or equal to 30? No, it's not. Next. Is 60 less than 30? No, it's not. End. And then we end, and we just follow through. Now, if I run this, nothing's printing out. Right? Nothing's printing out. Oops, let's cancel that. OK. Now, the other point that you can do is you could have a default condition, meaning that if we have a case like this, where all these conditions are false and they never enter the body, we can have an else here. And we can say debug.print default condition. Now what is a default condition? The default condition will print only if everything above it has had a, a result of false. And in this particular case of if else if statements, this default condition will print because everything before that has been false. But let's try it. So see that default condition because everything else is false. Now, if one of these, even one of these is true, then default condition, which is the else, will not print. And you can have an L, well, you could only have one else, you could only have one default condition. What you could have is you could have an if and then an else, which you can write with the following. I can say, let me comment this out. see my comment lines. All right, it's fine. Hold on. All right, I found it. So if we go to view and you go to toolbars and then you go to edit, it should show up. So now I can do a comment block. Okay, so now I'm going to take this. I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to uncomment. All right, I'm going to do that. And I will take get rid of this. Okay. So this is what I mean by if else. I could have an if else statement where if this is true, then do the following. Otherwise, do that. And it works the same way. Uh, the else is just saying I'm a default condition to this one if. Only if this is false will I print. That's my that's my default condition. So. If I write, if I print this, then you see that default condition. You could also have, as I mentioned before, you could have if, else, if, and that's perfectly fine. You could have more than one, uh, depending on your use cases, if you want to constantly test 
certain values. I hope you learned a little bit about if, else, if, and else. It's very important in building your knowledge. Next video, we'll start talking about, I believe we are going to go into loops. Yes. So next video, we're going to go into the while loop, a little bit of for loops as well. And then we can build upon that to create a, a kick-ass macro. If you like the video, press like, subscribe. Thanks.